What is going on guys? It's John Burton here and you're back in another video and today I'm just gonna share something I'm working on in this uh, Acer laptop Swift 3 um, model SF315 51G 36XZ so I'm working on upgrading the hard drive of this laptop and uh, moving forward we'll be, we'll be using the solid state drive and I come across with this problem where um, this laptop detects the hard drive however it doesn't detect in the uh, boot um, uh, boot order so uh, here's how I fix uh, the problem uh, this might help you in solving and in upgrading your laptop with the same model uh, it might save your time as well so make sure uh, what you need to do is disable the secure boot so to do that go to the security tab of your bias and set a password I use uh, password number one and I turn off this change TMP to disabled uh, yeah I just set this to disabled and I went after setting the password uh, supervisor supervisor password I uh, went to secure boot and that's the time I was able to disable the secure boot and uh, the SSD wasn't there before so what I did is I um, attach the new SSD drives to my computer and went to a device manager and deleted the volume and created a new partition for this new solid state drive and when preparing the bootable, bootable USB uh, I'm using Rufus uh, version 3.1 uh, I'm using Three one a uh, three point ten one six four version, and um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm using uh, eight gig uh, USB drive boot selection is ISO image, and this is important uh, the partition scheme. Make sure it is GPT and target system is UEFI, not the CSM. Um, if you did not set this to GPT, the Acer Swift uh, 3 won't detect your USB drive and your SSD drive. So just make sure when you prepare your bootable um, USB uh, Windows installer. Just make sure you selected this uh, GPT under partition scheme. That solves my problems. Hopefully, that solves yours. Um, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I'll be posting more tutorial video. Thanks and have a good one. Bye.